For once, I did something correct. All right, so today is supposed to be a record day. Well, it's a towing day and a bad day because the F-550's got dead batteries. So we went over to get the little wrecker that could. It's got a dead battery too. Something just got left on because I used it and I must not have shut something off. But this thing, we don't know what's going on with this pile. Well, the batteries are three years old. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna go get the little red wrecker that could. Oh, and I think we're either gonna name it King Fred. King Fred or Bob. Clifford, the red, big red truck. People were saying that its name is actually Fred because it's his a red- brother said that his name is Fred. Oh, his brother did? All right, so you guys drop some comments. Are we naming the wrecker King Fred or Bob? And if you wanna know why it's Bob, because I saw a really cool comment and it said, oh, it's a red Ford, like Robert Redford. You should name it Bob. I thought it was a good one. It's not gonna stay red. It'll eventually get blue and silver, but let us know, drop a comment. It's up to you guys. Is this King Fred or are we gonna name him Bob? All right, so once we get back from the tow, King Fred or Bob is gonna get worked on. First things first, let's make the old girl start. What if it's the towel light switch or the switch how you have? I don't know why it's dying and I'm sad about it. Looks like we might have to do the same thing to this as we do to Frank. Today. Something's definitely up with today. It's gonna be a good day. Call it superstition, whatever you want to call it, but I think we shouldn't go. Two vehicles, both dead. That's a bad sign. We would have another tow truck. But Steve has it, and I know that one runs and drives, so I don't know if that's bad luck or not. We're gonna do some reverse engineering. So we're back feeding through its cables into its own system to see if we can get the 550 to start. If this isn't the most genius thing in the world, I don't know what is. Might have to rev it up a little. All right, I'll go rev her up. We need new batteries for the tow truck. This terminal is very, very corroded. Oh. Okay, go try it. I think we got a bad terminal. Okay, the reverse engineering work. Were you guys aware that we bought this? Well, if you didn't know, now you do. Kind of hard to tell when the brakes work when both pedals do this. Okay. Well, there. If anything, we got some really nice tires out of the deal. Oh. And the grill is super nice too. All right, we got that sucker unloaded. More about that later. Let's get down to Gunnison. We got a dispatch call for an accident. Well, I think we found it. Good old jam. Yeah. Looks like that's gonna be Hillbilly's new driver. Pretty simple. Truck came through the intersection. The little Mazda couldn't make it, went right under him. So it's the other truck's fault, but we'll get this thing loaded up, strapped down, and we're headed back to the shop. Pretty simple tow. We made it back to the shop, so we're gonna go start working on the wrecker. Fire in the hole, Captain. Guys and gals and kids, we're gonna mount a winch. A winch here. Another winch here. Last but not least, a winch right here. So we're gonna be putting three, hey, shh, quiet on the set. Three is not enough. Well, just on the bed. And then we're gonna put one in the front bumper, but four winches, that just seems like way too much today. Three winches is probably way too much today, but that's what we're gonna do. Did someone ask for a fair lead? There's one. We need three. We got two. So we're getting two winches done? Yep. Check this out. We just made a tow point. Check this out. Eek. Okay, take it off. See that? He didn't even struggle. Are you guys as impressed as me? Look at that. Now we have a place to hook up. What the ultimate plan is, is I'm gonna build some winch mounts. I don't know exactly where it'll be. I'm gonna build the winch plates. So we have a reinforcement plate here. We'll stick the winch. We're gonna cut a hole. We're gonna put another plate out here for reinforcement. That's gonna bolt to the inside. The inside's gonna bolt to that. That's all gonna jive together. Such and such. Such and things. That's gonna get bolted there. And we're gonna be able to do some side pulling with this old rig right here. You know what'd be really awesome? If this you is, do this and if, I didn't have to? If this is a mini rotator. Oh, dude. <laughs> if we built a mini rotator, that'd be so sick. And then we'd need all these winches on the side. But wait, sorry, QVC moment. But wait, there's more. <laughs> 
not only do we have winches to install, we got lights to install. We got some Baja Designs lights that are gonna go up here and an S-Pod. Let's go get those. We're gonna take one of our S-Pods. You know be cool? What? Take these flush mounts and put them on the back, in the back of the bed. And maybe eventually we'll do some flush mounts. Look at this. A rock light kit, that'll be sweet up in the wheel wells. That's not today. I already know that we don't have time. What's that? Wiring harness. We don't need no dang wiring harness, but maybe we do. So we're gonna take a wiring harness in case. We have the S-Pod Bantam X. It's an eight circuit S-Pod. This is actually gonna be the new control center for everything on this tow truck. So not only is it gonna run our lights, it's also gonna run the boom, it's gonna run the hydraulics, it's gonna run everything. Everything, everything. This is our new interface. So we can do backup lights, light bar, roof lights, bumper lights, windshield lights, rear lights, grill lights, emergency response lights, emergency response lights. You put them right on your switch panel. Boom, 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 ba boom, 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 boom. So we're gonna ethernet this. This is the only cable that will go into the dash. Now we'll actually go through the dash, out into the engine compartment. That's where we're gonna have our Bantam X pot s-pod mounted and it's super cool check this out so all of our wires will actually come right in to this and it's got a rubber seal look at that you got your grounds and your positives so you don't have to do anything besides bring your wires in high beam low beam amber and ground so we're going to install this at some point today i'm hoping definitely not today. not today but i mean during this video we're gonna get this s-pod mounted i mean this can run everything is there a sticker that says pto Ham radio. Ooh, we should get a ham radio. So what we'll do is we'll actually leave. So this switch panel, we'll pull it out. We're gonna undo all these because all these wires are gonna go under the hood now. So Hillbilly, all we gotta do is mount that there and this there. The top switches are gonna be PTO, emergency lights, rear spot lights, and that one's auxiliary. I don't even know where that one goes. So we technically only need three and then we'll do Maybe it's for the jump. Rock lights, front lights, front side lights, front side side lights, and uh, other lights. <clears throat> we're not sure if we're gonna use the the headlight mount or the headlight light, which is an LP6 by Baja Designs. We're, we're not sure if we're gonna put that here or if we're gonna use one of the little squadrons. So, but we can just go right off that bracket. We don't even need to do anything. Is this a 1992? 92. Ford F-150? Ford F-350. Okay. Ford F-350. I'm going, I'm going to be excited when we do your trike. Yeah, one day. One day we'll do that Big Daddy Rock trike. There's winch number one. This is going to go right here. But, ow! That hurt. I feel like we're going to need a higher, like a better alternator and probably another battery. I was thinking it'd be smart to put another a battery on there. The alternator, I ordered it, and it's an 80 amp. It's the highest one they have. Once we get all these winches mounted, we're gonna have to for sure run another battery setup. But what we'll probably do is put a battery on the bed and just recess it down in and do something to where we have like a switchboard or something where we can run all the winches to a central location with a battery, run that battery to the front so it charges we're gonna hook the jumper box up, start the truck, turn the PTO on, get the boom out of the way. So I can work under it. <laughs> so I just wanna get this out of the way, like I was saying. I'm gonna work on that winch right below it. We'll get this all unboxed and then show you where it's gonna go. This will come off and this will come off and here in a minute, that's what Hillbilly's gonna start working on. We gotta take these off those off that's off and then we're going to start figuring out a way to mount it right here i'm going to build a bracket on the plasma that welds down comes up to hold our spare lead so this is just going to be centered right here i could just build a plate off the back and then like gusset it mount the winch back a little ways yay it's coming to me i'm figuring it out first bracket was just held in with two self tappers i don't think i'm gonna get that lucky on the rest of them because they look like actual bulbs. <laughs> well, it's like you put the bad energy. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't think this little guy's gonna do it. Get a better bit. Okay. Get it. 
You got it. Hey, Robbie. Yeah. Have you thought about checking the air pressure in the tires? No, are they flat? That one looks pretty flat. The inside dual. Yeah. We're getting new tires. Well, hopefully we get them before the next recovery. All right, so I got everything drawn up in my computer system. It's getting cut out on the plasma table, as you guys can see. So I took my cardboard drawing right here, my CAD. I put a bunch of stuff here and I'm cutting it out on the plasma table. So this may not make a lot of sense, but I'm gonna show you here in a minute what it is. Then I also had to cut the plates that are gonna go on each side for the side fullers. There's gonna be an inside plate and an outside plate. They're gonna bolt together with a fair lead and there's gonna be holes and it's all gonna make sense. All right, so check this out. It's literally the exact same thing. I came up with it in my brain, put it on the cardboard. So this is where it's gonna go, right here. So this is gonna weld to the back of there. Fair lead's gonna attach to it, like that. I'm gonna weld it all there. My winch will mount here, and I'm gonna do some tube work to protect the winch. And then I'm gonna do a base plate. You got the inners and the outers for the fair lead mounts for the side holes on the tow truck. It'll all make sense tomorrow when I show you guys, but it's late, I'm tired, so it is tomorrow. All right, it is the next day. We've got a bunch of stuff cut. So now we're gonna do a lot of grinding, some welding, some fabricating, and all the good stuff to get these winches installed. A spark flying on the winch, better move it so it doesn't get ruined. One bracket, removed. Now I just gotta get that removed. Then I'll get this outer piece grinded down where it needs to be. Go to the other side and start working on those brackets up. That bracket's off. I'll just grind the welds down a little bit and then grind the paint off and this side will be done. So I'm getting this all centered. I wanna make sure that the winch is centered here. Now I'll get a center mark on here and then hold the plate up and I'm gonna get this welded here. I'm trying to get this set where it's all square and even and... Should we keep it symmetrical and put this in line with that winch so that way we know exactly where to put the other one? So it, it will most likely, like you were saying, be centered in this door. Somewhere in there because we gotta be able to put pipe here. So that is roughly where the winch would go. That would give it plenty of room. So we'll center this in here, center it here. So basically you're gonna be somewhere in that area. You gotta grind from here to here. All of it. It's like Hillbilly's got his work cut out. All right, so I've got this half welded. I'm gonna get the other half welded. This is super hot because it's 035 wire, but it is what it is. It's not ideal. I'm not a professional welder, so. All right, so what I need to do now is do some more CAD drawing. I'm gonna build a plate that goes underneath the Badlands winch. It's gonna come out about three inches on each side. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna position this. We're gonna have this about, go measure how far your fair lead is, like an inch. So we're gonna figure out how far Hillbilly's winch fair lead is away from his winch. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna copy it. 11 16. So roughly an inch, his is bent. We're gonna go about an inch, right about there. So that's where the winch is gonna live for the rest of its existence on this earth, right there. And that'll be the base of my measurements. I'll measure out the bolt pattern. I'm gonna move the winch over here. I'm gonna measure out my square here, put it on my cardboard, transfer my bolt pattern, and then we'll go to the computer and actually do it good. Round two, got the welds cut. Let's see if it will actually just pop off. No, so there must be some welds still not cut all the way in spots, which is hard to tell exactly where. Noise! It done it. Now I'll grind up the welds. Did that make sense to you? Uh huh. It makes total sense to me. So seven and three quarter, it's a 10 by 4.5 inch square bolt pattern so we're gonna pull up 
our CAD program. All right, so we're gonna start out by making a square. My, wor my world revolves around squares and circles. That's a rectangle. Oh yeah, a rectangle, same thing. I'm no CAD expert, so I do everything backwards. I was never trained on this program. I make it work. Dang it, the fire extinguisher mount is welded on. I have to remove it because the winch is gonna be up in this area somewhere. So it'll be right in the way of the roll bars for the winch, the protector bars or whatever you wanna call them. So I have to get this out of the way so we can put the protector bars in. Now hopefully it removes with E. <laughs> and it did. First time that I was able to just make one, do, uh, cut the welds one time and not multiple times. So get rid of those sharp edges so we don't get, no one gets cut from it. And then I'll get the winch up in place, get it marked where I want it, and then grind out here where I need to. All right, so I've got this all drawn up. It was a pretty simple one. We're gonna get this burned out. Oh, look at that. Look at it. It's Probably could have went with 7 16th size holes, but you know what? You're gonna have some wiggle room. So that's exactly what we needed. This little plug. Go right here. We're gonna have it basically right on that edge. I'm not gonna weld it to this because I wanna be able to weld this plate to here and then this plate to that. So it's gonna be back a little bit so we can weld it. But that's by design. I'll do a little kicker off of this, maybe something, I don't know. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Hillbilly. Is the fair lead holes and the winch holes like in line? I don't know. Well, that, if so, that's how you know you'll have it centered. Well, the tape measure will also tell me that. But yeah, you're right. I, I was gonna put a bunch of holes, but I think with the plate being welded down and the four bolt holes, it's not gonna need, it's not gonna need all that extra welding. Hey, Robbie, that's how much we have to take off. It's quite a bit. I feel like it's further this way than it is that way, but I think our wheel lift is what's throwing me off, is the wheel lift is not centered in here. We got about an inch there. We got about a half an inch there. So the wheel lift's actually not centered. So this is gonna be an optical illusion. This is what we're basing our center mark on, is this cut. I probably should have done it. Let's do see that. Now I'm probably gonna have to cut everything open. 27, yeah, that's centered. I mean, it's maybe off by an eighth of an inch. Seems like it's more. Yeah. I'm gonna call that a win. I'm gonna put a few tacks on this, drill my holes, and make sure we can bolt the winch up before I go ahead and burn the crap out of this plate. Welding through some rust right there. I can't see into that hole. We're gonna have to open up the bottom to get a bolt in that one. Into what one? The back hole. You know what we need to do? Scoot it in. We could eliminate all that if we just scoot it back about two inches. So that's what I think we need to do. Bolt it down, then weld that plate down. And then option C, never get your winch off. We should never have to pull it off. I don't like his options. <laughs> so I gotta trim these inner brackets up for the winch. It's just a hair too long. Just like it's meant to be, it doesn't move up or down. Yep, so we're just gonna scoot this plate in. The winch will have a little bit bigger gap, but it'll be no big deal. But I believe that's gonna happen after lunch. So we'll be back. And just like that, back from lunch, Hillbilly's about to get back, but I got my holes drilled. What I'm gonna do now, is set my winch into place. <coughs> Probably gonna need some longer bolts. All right, so stage two. Now I gotta figure out some bars. So I got this all figured out. This is a little bit of an angle to the fair lead, but it's not touching the metal back here. It's just gonna rub on aluminum. So I think that's gonna work. So I went and looked- hey, hey, oh. Well, no, I went and looked at yours and it's virtually the same. So I, th I think. Have we ever had to use this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hanging tree. I'm gonna figure out my bars next. Putting the bracket on to drill the holes. 
figure out if I trimmed the wrong side or not. Because I'm thinking we'll have to trim the top instead of the bottom because that side has a box so we can't drop this down lower. So that's what I got to figure out. It's not enough. That's a 30 spot. There's 45. No, it's not perfect, but it might work. So look. So now I got to figure out what's going to go in the center. Actually, it's got to be 70 degrees. We want 30 there. I think we need to build another cheater that's 70 degrees. I need to make more cheaters. All right, we're going to go get the bender out. We're going to make some tubing. That's what we're going to do. Oh, too much. We're calling that good because right here, it did say 0. 0.6. So 0. 0.6, 0. 0.6, good enough. Golden. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the top line and the bottom line with the grinder because I'm not very steady with the plasma cutter. Even with a guide, I still couldn't cut a straight line. So. Get that out of there. Well, that's low enough. That's probably fine. That should get a half inch bolt through it. I'm making a 70 degree cheater band. What did you just say? Nothing. You pulled the wrong pin? No. Prove it. With a very critical mark. So this is a 70 degree band. I need it. Because 60 wasn't enough. Okay. Up, oh, hold it, whoa, whoa, down, whoa, up. Hold it there. Okay, I'm gonna mark this. Then we're gonna put a 30 degree bend in it. 30 degree bend in it, and then we'll come back and do another one. And there we are, right there. Boom, chakalaka. We're gonna put a 30 degree bend in this. Thirty degrees. Whoa, that didn't work. That was not locked in, and now we have a problem. So I got to fix that real quick. Don't not lock your pins. Who does this crap? Mm -hmm. Houston, we've got a problem. We need a big old hammer, hillbilly. Sometimes things happen. All right, take two. Way too much. How did that work? You did it too far. You did it on the wrong line. Which line was it? That one right there. What? Where is, oh! That's the tail end. This is the line. Ah. Okay. Well, so now that I've been jinxed. Okay. Well, let's try again. You got something to say? Say it to the camera. Is that funny? I've been being verbally abused all day by that. <laughs> no. That right there. No. All I said was to remember how to use it. Not that I need this. You better make mark sure that. you mark it as something else. A full line like that is marked and just a little notch is a... Come down. 70 degree bend. So what we need to do is lay this down and mark out here. So in order to get this bend the same as this, we have to do it. We have to reverse engineer it. We're not great at bending, but it's gonna work. I promise you. There's also a possibility that this one might be messed up. No, it won't. There's no possibility of this being messed up. We already messed up the first one. Yeah, this is the second one. I still believe there's a possibility. Ye of little faith. 
Hillbilly has no faith. This is gonna be so perfect. Then we just have to do this one, two, three, four, five more times. Let's go check it, check it. So if we put one more degree of bend here and one more degree of bend here, it'll bring them in. It's close. All right, we have clearance. A lot of things. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of it. Maybe we will just keep it this tall, to make it simple. It doesn't need its own roll cage, but it helps. It does help. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one, five more of these. Just trying to figure out how far back. Probably right there. That's what I'm gonna say. All right, so we've got all six of the little cages built for the winches. Here, Billy's got the one side puller mounted, the plate mounted, the winch bolted, the front mounted. I've got the rear basically the same. We just have one more winch to finish up tomorrow and then weld these cages on. So we're not gonna be able to get to the lights or the S-Pod. This took all day to make these bends. So this is the last plate that needs to be welded down and then the bars welded around it. So we're making good progress, but that's all we got tonight. So it is tomorrow. All right, so now it is the next day. So we've got everything set to where I can weld these bars up. Hillbilly's gonna get to work on the plate that the winch is gonna mount to on the driver's side, side pulling winch. But anyway, it's just me and Hillbilly today. The man himself, look at that. Look at that beautiful shirt and that beautiful bronze star. All matchy. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my bars where they need to be. I've gotta make some four inch bars that go between to keep the distance. Oh, I've gotta build a bar here too. So I got it marked out where I need a wire wheel on the bed to where we can have a good clean surface to mount the winch plate or where we can weld the winch plate down to where I can get my holes drilled for the winch. So when we, uh, once I get all cleaned up, tacked down and drill the holes, we won't be able to access them through under the bed because there's a box. So we're gonna hole saw through the box on those four corners to where we can tighten up the winch and then maybe we'll get a rubber plug, rubber plugs to stick in those holes so moisture won't get inside. But we'll worry about that when that time comes. Right now I'm gonna worry about getting this cleaned up to get that mounted or secured to the bed. I'm making sure this four inch piece fits all the way around. Now that that fits, I need to do, I need eight more. It's gonna get one up here, one right there, and one right here. It's just gonna look fancy fancy. I don't have a deep hole saw bit, so this is how I do it. I take and I have to break off half of it. If I can use my little pliers for this. So you break it, and you keep going. I'll measure this out four inches, flip it around, and make eight of these. Got a whole box. This is why you keep your leftovers. Just getting this plate tacked in place so that way I can get the holes drilled and figure out where I need a hole saw in the box. So there's one. Got three more to go. All done. These bits are way awesome. I don't know what they're called. Rob, what are these bits called? I think they're called annular hole cutters or something. I don't know. They're awesome. They're from Milwaukee. Annular hole cutters? <laughs> What's funny? Annular. Isn't that what I said? No. <laughs> What'd I say? All right, so I'm gonna use my ham dinger. So we're gonna weld this at five and a half inches. So I'm very, very weird about symmetry. So I gotta make sure things are even and centered and... So I've got this hoop de doop -de. All dizzy done. Look at that. Look at how beautiful. Oh, no, I don't. Shoot. Crap. I got to do a bar here. I feel like it's fine. I like no, it's I have to do. Okay. Wait, why do you need a bar there? I don't understand. You have to. Why? I have to have a bar here. I just have to. Can you tell just... me why? Look, tell me why. This is like protecting you. Ain't it. nothing better. All right, I'm going to take a 30 degree That's what I'm going to do. There we go. I'm gonna do a 30 degree air. Just getting this winch mounted. Got two of the four bolts installed so far. So I've got one side all coagulated out. Now I'm coagulating this side, 14.75. So what I'm doing is I figured out my center line 
Now I need to figure out where the start of my band starts. 14.75. So this is going to be the start of my band. This is going to be the start of my band. This is going to be the end of my band. At the end of the band, I hate cutting and splicing bends. So I like to try to figure out, I can't do math. So whatever, it's gotten me this far in life. I think it's math, I think that's geometry. I don't know what it is, but I figured out. Isn't geometry math? I don't know, but I make it work. So I want this to be to where I can weld it there. So it has structure for this plate. It's gonna push off of here. These could essentially become tie off points if we ever needed them. It's gonna have some strength. So it's gonna have the strength I need. Look at that. My math was almost perfect. I'm gonna make a line right here and show you. To the back edge of my band. My brain works in very, very mysterious ways, which in fact, I don't even understand it. Here's the back of my band. <laughs> Look at where my mark was that I coagulated. Yeah. Who needs school? Not me. For once, I did something correct. Some big pliers would come in real handy right here. But we're going to use what we got. Because you don't have any other ones. She may or may not have a pair also. Bada bing! Almost worked. So I just got to dial in this side just a little bit so I can get Gotta get my my notch just a little bit deeper through here. So I'm just gonna hand grind it out. I don't think I'm perfect, but I do want to point out the fact that this is legit wonderful. It's right dead center. It goes even across the front. It's lining up on the bars. One thing I did notice though, that will get changed is my sidebars. So I'm gonna hurry and tack this and then I'll show you what's wrong with those. This is why you fit everything up. So on my sidebars, I just set them where I thought they needed to go. And now that I've got my front bar where it needs to be, I'm about a half inch up on the sidebar. So I want them to run straight through. So I'm gonna cut these little tacks. I'm gonna tap these bars down and I'm gonna line them up with this front bar. And then that's all we're doing to this front. Has to have symmetry. See that? Now it's like it's... One full two. So <clears throat> Norris sells that handle or the latch for that box that keeps popping open. One of the screws is missing. And so instead of having a mismatched screw, I'm just gonna replace them all and try to get it all adjusted to where it'll work until we can find a new one. Cause I honestly think we should go to a T handle style. Cause it has a big long finger that you turn locks and then you fold it down and it won't turn or move or nothing until you pull it back out of the handle. Okay, I got all the screws pulled. I'm gonna just check everything out, make sure everything was working like it was supposed to. And it is, so I'm putting it all back in and putting new screws in. It's latched now and it ain't just coming loose. You actually have to pull the handle all the way up before you just barely move the handle and it open, pop it open. Not no more. Okay, so I'm gonna change the jumper box, plug box, because when Robbie was using it, something with these diodes fried or something so it wouldn't work right after those came unhooked or fried or something, I don't know exactly what they do. So we're gonna update it to a newer style. Cut these off. There. And you put it in there and you go smash. So they put the solder in there. So that way comes on the bottom, makes a big old ball of solder in the wiring and it can't just slip out if it ever came loose. Is it hot? Not probably. We feel it and see. No, steaming. <laughs> So now that I got it smashed and soldered, I'm putting some heat shrink around it just so that we don't have any corrosion, corrosion issues in the future. Five and a half hours later, I got all six of these notched out so I can finish. I took forever to manually cut all of these, but it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna lay them out, get them all welded in. All right, so I've got these set. I just need to get these three separator pieces where I need them to be. I'm gonna grab the tape measure, get them all measured out, and then we will have this 
all basically done. That's a lot of progress. Hillbilly's working on some electrical, so I'll hurry and get these all tacked, get that side tacked, show you guys what it looks like, and then we'll go finish up whatever Hillbilly's doing. You will never, ever, ever believe it, but we have the winch cages built. All built. All three of them. Fronts are on. They're not tight, but they're gonna get welded. It's gonna look way better when it's all welded out. This is gonna be sweet. We're gonna have side pullers. So cool. That was a lot of work for three winches. <laughs> it was totally worth it. They're gonna come in way handy. It was like a winch a day. Yeah, seriously, it was like one winch a day. Two bends, two articulate bends a day. But you know what? This is your sign to go buy a bender and start bending pipe. Because I waited 34 years to get a bender and I've wanted to get a bender since I was like 20. Well, I guess younger. I didn't really wait 34 years, but that's when I got it, was when I was 34. And it's fun. Tube work is awesome. Trying to figure it out with no mathematician skills. I think you were 33. Maybe I was 33. But anyway, regardless, super fun, super cool. Let's go see what Hillbilly's been up to. Look at this. It's hot. Did you just smash them? Should we build a stand for this? Oh, that'll fit. See if it has enough room to slide on there now. Oh yeah. Yeah, you wanna touch these ends? No. And then I'll test it and then turn, hook the battery up and see if it shocks you? No. That, looks like it's... that means they work. So we probably should get some new ones of these. I'm gonna hurry and pull this light off and mount up my Baja Designs rear spotlight. I think it's gonna look awesome. <laughs> oh, it's just taking the whole bracket. Huh? Ah! Maybe not. It's probably rusted. And solid. Maybe it can just break. <laughs> exactly what I asked it to do. Break. Put this back up where it needs to be. All right, so this is how it's gonna mount. This is tight, but it's a little bit loose so that you can position this where you need it. And then this can go in and out. So this is the Baja Designs LP6 headlight. And I like it. It's gonna be super bright. So we don't have it wired in yet. We're gonna rewire all of this. So I'm gonna go throw the other light on real quick. Just got back with the new clamps. Now I just gotta get these ones off and put them on that. Grab the hammer device, smack. And that will not come off. And bolt it down and put the hand on, the grip back on. And that one is done. And that has some crimp to it. Jump cables are ready to use. So I've got the Baja Designs LP6 is mounted. They look awesome back here. Well, we got the winches mounted, we got the lights on. We did not get as much as we wanted, but Hillbilly's got the jumper cable kit all fixed and on. Door good. All right, well, sweet little Adley will be here in a second, because she's got some jokes. Only one today. Only one what? Only one joke. What do you say a bunch of balloons in the bathroom? What do you call a bunch of balloons in the bathroom? I don't know. What? A birthday party. A birthday party? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, my tweezers. Well, see ya. All right, well, she's done. Thanks, sweetheart. I'll tell you jokes next week. All right, so we got a lot of stuff done and we didn't get a lot of stuff done. But you guys got a joke and we got winches and that's all that matters. Um, so, as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. Hey, that way. Hello? That way.